Hey guys, what's up? It's me, um, Graphi Central here, and I've got like a very multiple, multiple questions asking me, um, how do I make my backgrounds? Like, like, how do I do the awesome outlines and awesome? I don't know why they're awesome, but like these little boxes around the thing, like as you can see here, like that. Maybe people just want to like for their gaming backgrounds or whatsoever. Now, um, you just have to start off with a YouTube template. Let's just uh, get rid of the outside glow for a change right now. Actually, let's just do that. Okay. So, um, how we make the outside glow is actually to go go to your um shape tools and rectangle tool now make the color of it as what choice of you want um, the color that you want to do box but very faded I'm going to choose white now if you guys want one of these templates but it has to have oh oops shit <laughs> sorry um uh it has to have this little text in there because it's like stuck on I really couldn't remove it big deal but um you go just like snap ruler, so as you can see it snaps, that's your choice, I'm just gonna just basically just, if it doesn't snap it's just, yeah you know, computers these days now, um, I really couldn't do either but just try to estimate as properly as you can and estimate how big your box is gonna be, as you can see mine's really not a really good size but this is a tutorial so Go ahead, go to your rectangle tool, start from that corner, and then make sure those look like, like it's a very faded brownie line, if you see it from here, you probably can't, but it'll stick to the rulers like that, boom, and then just make this thing. Now, just go ahead and rasterize layer, and put it under your modules, like that. Now this isn't it at all, you know, it's just a simple box. Just go here, opacity, and down a little, little. But this still does not look like the box, like this. Because we're trying to make it like this. So, um, what you have to do is go on to your shape, blending options, and go on to your drop shadows, and then just do it as a vault unless you just want to put the distance out a bit and I'm going to go for a stroke here and make it the size of about here and I'm just going to go down a bit so that's how you basically do it depends on what size you want as you can, that's a pretty good one too uh, as you can see right there but I'm not going to use this one because I already had a perfectly good one right here um, you can copy these styles if you want. It has a biv one and boss, a drop shadow, and a stroke. As you, as you can see. Oh my god. I'm just going to get rid of these rulers for a second. So, yeah. Now, um, I all you need to do is get a few pictures from any place you want. I'm just going to go to my uh, BG List Picks and Pokemon. Um, the only ch reason I actually choose Pokemon is they actually have tr transparent backgrounds. So go here and choose what um, Pokemon you want. I'm just going to choose this thing. I really don't really remember their names because I've only played for like a month and then quit. Now size it up to your choice and press enter. Now go ahead and rasterize layer. Now, uh, Keep it outside the oh shoot. I'm gonna keep it outside the outside glow and put it behind the outside glow, like so the outside glows first. It just makes it looks a lot more neater, neater maybe, I don't know. And then continue that until you are basically done. I'm just gonna um add one more then stop just because this, this is a tutorial as you should all know now um 
Now the thing is, these don't really look very good. Um, just gonna oh, leave that there. Go ahead and um, like I'm gonna show you guys how to get a pretty cool outline with this. Go on um, a style, like go on styles. Actually, just go on a stroke and make this color the ch um, color of your likings again. I mean it this time, like. If you want it red, you can make it red, but these are going to be kind of faded out. I'm just going to choose this and go on to 5. Change the opacity down, and there you go. We have um, a style. I'm just going to save the style called White Outline. And press OK. And then in the styles bar, you can just, if it's like on color, you just change the styles. You, you can just go on to your anything you want just click on it you don't have to go into styles again so yeah um yeah now this thing really helps you to wipe um outside glow thingy it really just helps you a lot let me just help um tell you that before it gets out of hand but what i'm gonna do is yeah um i'm gonna just add some text now my computer has really bad loss of text I mean loss of text so it just takes a pretty long time to find the text that I want since this is Pokemon let's just go for Pokemon fun I'm pretty sure I have it from this huge collection Pokemon hello cool start with that I'm just gonna go for Graphite Central and then Command T and then stretch it out. Uh, there we go, we just have a pretty cool font. Not really standing out, but I'm just gonna mix it up a bit though. You should have the normal one. I actually forgot to install the normal one, so that's pretty fucking bad luck for me, but. As you can see, it's pretty self explanatory. You just go in um, and practically yeah I'm actually going to add text because I don't usually add text to ones that I actually do so that's how I just basically make a background um, basically uh, you can make awesome stuff with modules as you can see I'll just show you get the pen tool go onto the um, modules Go here, go here. Oops, my bad. Go here, go here. Out click, go there. And then go on, make selection, and press OK. Go here. <laughs> Layer via cut. And then go here. This is pretty cool. You just go here and then you just load the opacity. Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect. It's like a little glossy effect to your modules. I don't really add this, but yeah. Um, there's gonna be another tutorial about like another day, but telling you how to get was like a proper background not with pictures so I'm gonna show you guys or well, yeah I'm gonna show you guys later so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope I'm not forgetting anything I'll add some in the description if I am and I hope you guys like this I um see you guys